Walt Disney World is filled with so many details, of course we have to cover them all. Disney Details, Episode 8. Lights, motors, action! Star Wars Galaxy's Edge can make any Star Wars nerd's heart explode with excitement. There are so many different things to be found throughout the land that pay tribute to all of the different Star Wars films, from the original trilogy to the prequels to the sequels. There's just so much to see and do. However, sometimes it's not all about the films, but it's about the past. And when I'm talking about the past, I'm not talking about the past in the Star Wars films, but I'm talking about the past of Disney's Hollywood Studios. Prior to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge making its debut inside of Disney's Hollywood Studios, guests used to be able to find the former attraction here, Lights, Motors, Action. As usual, when a Disney attraction closes, there's usually a reference found to it in its replacement. And that is no different here. Well, guests are inside of the marketplace area of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. If they go over to the toy store, they can find three toy speeder bikes out front. If you take a look at the green one that is found in the middle, you can find Arabesh, aka the Star Wars language, written upon it. If you translate it to English, the letters here are L, M, and A, a reference to lights, motors, action. If you look at the little symbol on the right hand side of it, this is none other than a replica of the speedometer found at the original Lights Motors Action sign that guests would pass under while entering into the attraction. Thank you for joining us for today's episode of Disney Details. If you've not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and we will see you tomorrow.